Hi guys, uh, today I'll show you how to change the hard drive in your Sony Vegas um, Veo, sorry, Sony Veo and uh, the hard drive pretty much gave out and I decided to just get a SanDisk SSD solid state drive uh, this one is a bit more complicated than normal laptops uh, Sony likes to confuse everybody so the first thing you do is you just take a drawer over here where the RAM is um, let's go ahead and do that and I'm using for the screws uh, just a plus one uh, over here that it focus yeah so I'm just gonna take this out and from here pretty much every single screw you see you need to unscrew all these guys so that's what I'm going to do probably Fast forward. So from here, it's pretty much a plastic cover. You just want to, uh, first of all, actually, you should have taken out the battery. I should have done that first. Uh, but from here, it's just a plastic cover. So you just pretty much pull it out. You want to be careful in case you forgot to unscrew something like I did over here. Uh, so don't be rough. Just be very gentle and just take it off. And there you go. You have to take that off. Uh, this is where your hard drive is and then uh, your input jacks for your sound so you have to unscrew that first now just keep in mind about the screws uh, when you're unscrewing everything there's two big fat screws which I dropped one but they're big fat screws and then there's pretty much everything else is done with the smaller screw these are for the corners on the top and uh, the rest is just a small one and then uh, the final cover which we took we took out first is just with the smallest screw so just pay attention to these little details so you can at least put your computer back the same way it was uh, we take this off there's another screw that's supposed to be here I'm just gonna try to zoom in for you guys okay that's really slow but there's another screw that's supposed to be here uh, it's not there which is fine and we just pull this out and slowly unplug it and try not to rip anything and then uh, from here you just have two screws on this side two screws on this side uh, let's go ahead and take that off so okay also keep these screws different, uh, separate because they're different from everything else. Okay, and this is the hard drive. So, I'm just gonna try to remember how it is so I can put this one safely. Uh, you know box this I guess <laughs> or open it and try not to struggle on camera this is the new one it's very very light it's unbelievably light it's almost like a like a memory stick I have another uh, SSD but I've never seen this one this light so which is okay doesn't matter uh, let's just see this is done this way so this is how we're gonna put this one just like that, the same exact way. Uh, you just take it off and replace it, very easy. And we put back the screws, it should already be lined up, they're pretty much universal. Uh, it doesn't matter which hard drive, as long as you get a 2.5 inch, uh, you should be able to uh, do it, no problem. So.
So now that we're done that, uh, let's just go ahead and zoom again and try to do this slowly again. So this one goes in like this and you just push it in. Be careful of the sound card and you just push it in. That's pretty much the replacement done. Now you're pretty much working your way backwards. Uh, you're working your way backwards from here to just screw everything back together and you should be done from there. That's done then. Uh, put this here. On this one there's only one screw on this side and the other screw actually comes from the box. Uh, the one we put on top. Okay. Now I'm pretty much going to put everything back together and we should be done from here. done hope you guys enjoyed uh, you now have the SSD drive for switching your hard drive if it's busted like this one and uh, if you guys like just comment rate or subscribe thank you very much